Okay, Arvind, today you had a very dangerous game. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I mean, my opponent usually plays e4. First of all, uh, okay, I didn't expect knight of three. First of all, uh, and uh, I decided to choose a sideline where I played. I mean, b6, b b7. Uh, it was a double fiancé to variation. Yeah, actually, it's uh, it converted into uh, a little. Zillian, you wanted yeah. to play for a win today. Something. Yeah, like that. I wanted. I mean, really. It, I mean, all the rounds I'm playing for win only, but. Okay. <laughs> you wanted something sharp. So yeah. Okay. E4. Okay. D6. Okay. I here I wasted knight h4 here. I mean here I wasted a lot of moves like queen c8. I had to play or else e5 is threatening e5 now. So to play queen c8 here. So if you castle e5 is already. Yeah. Uh, Bishop g2 h6. Uh, you know. Um, no, no, it's not for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so queen c8. Queen c8. Uh, and so I mean I was wasting a lot of moves like yeah you know queen c8, double o knight c3 and yeah I mean uh, knight c6. And, yeah it's all normal moves in the the game, the game was going on. And uh, some Look, themes of yeah, actually, close Sicilian, I, right? Yeah, yeah, actually wasted with this wasted a move like, I mean playing knight d4, which I think it's it's a Unnecessary. But what would you play here? Maybe I think I should have played a uh, rook a8. I mean e6 and knight e5. Do you think e6 here is possible? Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean it's interesting, but I considered it, but um, I saw something. Uh, maybe I mean bishop h6 and knight e5. Maybe he can uh, also think of doubling the rooks on f file, something like that. But I mean, he can double his rook after uh, playing h3. I mean, if yeah. if he plays rook after, I, I have this knight g4 move. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. So he, he he might play h3 and then it's not so easy for you to do something because gf or ef yeah, both yeah. are not I so good. Yeah, actually he can play rook of two. I mean, knight g4 f6 is the sorry. <laughs> It was risky for me, so I didn't go for e6. So knight d4. Uh, knight d4 is also dubious, but you know. Ah, you but you know, already I'm under pressure. I wasted a lot of moves, right? So queen c8, queen d7. Uh, okay, I actually I was a bit happy with c3 because I thought I wasted move knight d4 and knight c6. Mm-hmm. But uh, okay, c3. It I mean, I just wanted to. Uh, weaken is D. I mean, queen said pawns. Uh, okay, I, I was worried of. I mean, uh, wasting more knight d4 and six. But after c3, okay, I felt uh, okay. I weakened uh, his d3 pawn. I mean, okay, some way. So, but he was very. I mean, I think c3 is a good move because he is uh, dominating the center after c3 and d4. So, I mean, uh, He's trying to control on the center and the, the center and flank. Uh, I don't have any pieces on the queen side, so basically I, had, I mean, I had to open the center. I mean, show six, show six. Here I, mean, I was uh, completely lucky, I would say. I, mean, uh, I totally missed f6 for bishop h4, where I luckily had this king h8 in rook g8. <laughs> yeah. If rook was on f1, yeah. maybe you would have been in trouble. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, so by that logic, perhaps uh, here it could have been better to play the other rook to d1. Uh, but but he, but here he is not threatening anything, right? I can simply play knight d5. But if rook of d1 he is threatening d4. Ah, okay. Uh, so d4 is a is a threat here. Uh, because now there is no rook. Yeah. Okay, knight d5 you can I can play d4 and knight c4 queen e2. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, so Even here I mean, instead of e6 d5 was interesting. I was not sure. Uh, e d5 knight d5 knight g4. I mean, it, it was uh, somewhat complicated. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but this looks a little more. Uh, you have some center control. Yeah, but I should have gone for this one. Yeah. But looks risky for me. <laughs> but e6, take, take, knight. 
and F6 you missed. Yeah, I totally missed this. When you like, played F6, you were uh, shocked, yeah? Yeah, I was shocked, but I didn't show it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, luckily I this king of jade. Okay, king of jade. Uh, thanks to God. <laughs> thanks to God, okay. King of jade. Uh, the threat is queen at 6 here, so uh, he played king h8. Queen at 6. six uh, rook g8. Here, I think he could have taken with the pawn maybe to keep the queen here and yeah, stop, I mean, g5. stop g5 and rook g5 uh -huh. where i mean what would then id5 i really don't know id5 and knight f2 no he's threatening d4 e5 i think here where is complete here is better yeah uh -huh. okay and now I have no idea <laughs> what to do here. So he took on uh, H4. With this queen, um, where I got G. Some counter play. Queen H4, G5. Here I was uh, for G5, Queen H5. Uh, here, I mean, uh, I was worried for uh, E5, for Rook G6. Uh, Rook G. Ah, I was a little bit worried of e5 here. Yeah. Yeah, knight e5, knight e5, d5, bishop e4. Yeah, rook e, rook e g8, bishop g6, rook g6. Queen e2, maybe, or even rook e1, okay. Here, okay. Okay. Yeah, you should be okay, right? Because you get queen d5 and bb7, something like that. But but he will, I mean, capture ah. my e5 pawn, but I don't know what is happening. Maybe this. He yeah, queen e4. Or even uh, first rook e1. Mm -hmm. Threatening queen d5, bb7, queen e4. Ah, okay, if bb7, uh, queen e4. But, I mean, he was somewhat under I mean, time, time pressure, something like uh, 3 minutes. So, I mean, he did not want to go for this position. Yes. He told me after the game. Uh, so um, he chose the uh, d4, but this also looks yeah, okay. Yeah, this also looks okay. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, uh, at first I thought cd4, cd4, bishop b2, rook d2, knight on d4. But he has this rook d4, e5, and knight on d5. So I mean, it's not working. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of discovered attacks. Yeah. Bishop uh, so, uh, uh, G4, I think it's, everything is more or less forced. I mean, uh, the reason why I didn't take first C into D4 is uh, CD4, CD4, Bishop B2, if I, uh, Rook D2, Bishop G4, Queen G4, Rook F6, Queen G5. No, he has this Queen B5. Uh, if rook g6 queen b5, uh, I mean where, I mean I, I can't play for winner, you know, so rook c1 then uh, next uh, hmm. difficult. It, it looks better for white. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I didn't take c into d4 first. Uh, so you kept uh, the root of the queen uh, blocked over yeah. here, it's because of this c5 pawn it can no longer travel to b5, okay. Mm -hmm. I think everything is more or less forced. Rook d2, queen g5. Mm -hmm. so now I'm threatening rook, rook f1. I mean, queen h5. I mean, he, here he was under tremendous temperature. So you had still 13 moves to make. Uh, I mean, you not know, I have very good. I mean, after cd4, cd4, e5. Right, he have a bad bishop and I have very good knight. So you think you already uh, are fine now, yeah, in this position? I'm not saying it's winning for black. Not uh, winning, but uh, you are not Yeah, I'm worse. comfortable. Yeah. Okay, comfortable to play with this position. With so, black pieces. so, where did he go wrong, actually? Okay, probably... Uh, this all looks forced and now... Yeah. Even queen... Whatever he does, you will play CD. CD, CD, E5 and my D4. I don't know. I, I think uh, he should have played. Uh, I mean, as we have seen already, 
Yeah, yeah GH4, 95, 92. It should be clearly better for you. Ah, you mean here? Yeah. yeah. Instead of taking back with the queen here, you should have taken with ah. the pawn. Okay. This one looks completely better for me. Uh, I think after this. So take. I take, got this. Take. I mean, now outpost. I mean, ID4. But still, it's not doing anything there. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, comparatively, my knight is better than his bishop. Sure. So, I was happy. Rook g8. Ah, here I missed this queen h3 move. Uh, I had to go rook g8. I mean, once again. Because if I play king g7, then queen c8. I couldn't find a move for my rook on f6 where it blocks my queen. <laughs> ah, you mean to say here king? King g7, queen c8. Ah. I mean, I can't move my f6 rook. He's threatening rook c7, no? Um, uh, looks funny, yeah? Huh? Huh. All the pieces. So, I mean, I had to go rook g8. No, if he had played uh, queen x5, then I would have played b5 and uh, rook g6. Where I, I get this queen d8 and queen b6. <laughs> <laughs> Queen so h4, queen h4, uh, queen d8. Here, I mean, we were analyzing this one. Rook c8 was interesting, but um, instead of rook c8, uh, sorry, instead of a4, um, yeah, queen c8, queen f6, g7, queen d6, queen c1, bishop of 1. Uh, maybe queen d2, you can't yeah, take I can't take it. Yes, Perpetual. Mm. So, I mean, here knight of three, king of two. Here I mean I have more two most queen d two or rook g six. Uh, if queen d two, king end of three. I mean I couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should be better, but you know, we should be able to hold maybe. Okay. And uh, if after knight f3, king f2, rook g6. Yeah, rook g6. Uh, hmm. This one should be checked. Ah, of queen d8, I have king g7. Uh, so I mean queen f8 check, and you have queen f8. Queen f8, uh, king rook, rook g8, queen and f7. Now queen d2, king f3, queen f6. I don't know, maybe. Looks somewhat sc scary for you. You should be winning this, I guess. Yeah? Um, His king is a little too weak. And, and he was under time pressure, so I was a little bit confident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, um, he played queen d8, a4. a4 you played uh, b5, 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 and b4. And now, if I didn't play, I mean. Uh, uh, sorry, if I don't play b4 here, I mean, then he would play b4. You know, it's difficult to get through. Yeah. Rook g ah, here, I mean, it was a crucial moment. So again, uh, here, my, uh, I was thinking rook g g6, but here, he has this rook f2. Mm, I don't know how to make any advantage. King g7, if, if king g7 has yes, rook and f6. Okay, I do not want to go for any end games in the, when he having uh, time, time pressure. pressure yeah. So you are playing more practically, uh, yeah. trying to fool him somehow. Uh, uh, he could, can take this and try for this. Mm, I mean, I, I was not sure. Queen g5. Maybe the queen and knight is too strong. Yeah, I think so. Okay, once I get queen e3 and then you know, it's going to complete Yeah. Okay. So you uh, played queen h3. Maybe, I think, okay, under time pressure, he, uh, he did not know what to do and simply moved his queen. I think after queen h3, king g1 black is completely winning. Maybe. The threat is rook h6. No? Yeah, I'm threatening rook h6. Uh, but, but mm. so what if he just tries to exchange queens? So uh, I will take on a5. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's no way, uh, no no threat to your king. Yeah. So queen h4, rook h6. Yeah, rook c8. 
suddenly you got all your pieces yeah. and, and it was the fun ah the queen is trapped yeah <laughs> nice game what <laughs> it was a nice fun i mean in the end it was you turned the tide around yeah rook g5 was in so Okay thanks a lot uh, Arvin for this very nice analysis